Why Bridget Fonda left Hollywood and stayed away off the map for good. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Bright Spotlight. The Hollywood life is not always as great as we're often led to believe. Actors work for hours on end to film just a movie and TV show, and sometimes the pressure they're subjected to is so much that they just need to catch a break. For example, Tom Holland revealed that filming the crowded room was too much and because of it, decided to take a small break from Hollywood. Other stars who have left Hollywood and moved off the map include Hilary Swank and Bridget Fonda. Jane Fonda comes from a family of successful actors, so she began acting at a very young age. During her career, Fonda starred in many successful movies including The Godfather Part 3, 1990, Point of No Return, 1993, and Kiss of the Dragon, 2001. However, her career seemed to die down at some point in the early 2000s. As it turns out, the actress went through a traumatic event that led her to quit Hollywood and move off the map for good. Bridget Fonda comes from a successful acting family. Bridget Fonda is the granddaughter of Henry Fonda, daughter of Peter Fonda, and niece of Jane Fonda. So it's safe to say she began acting at a very young age. In fact, Fonda first became involved with the theater when she was cast in the school production of Harvey. Later on, she studied method acting at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute as part of New York University's Tisch School of the Arts acting program and then attended NYU. She made her movie debut when she was only five years old by starring alongside her father in the 1969 film Easy Rider. Then, in 1982, she landed a second non-speaking part in the comedy film Partners. Although she appeared in many more movies during the 80s, she didn't get her big break until 1990, when she was cast as a journalist in The Godfather Part III. She then went on to work several years in theater productions, but came back to the big screen when she was cast as the lead in Barbet Schroeder's film Single White Female, and then in a role in Cameron Crowe's ensemble comedy Singles, both in 1992. Throughout her career, Bridget appeared in 49 films and TV shows. This includes films such as Point of No Return, 1993, It Could Happen to You, 1994, Jackie Brown, 1997, and A Simple Plan, 1998, and series such as The Chris Isaac Show and Night Visions. She also did voice acting for the 1995 animated film Balto. Plus, she received an Emmy Award nomination and two Golden Globe Award nominations. Bridget Fonda retired from Hollywood after she went through a traumatic event. Bridget Fonda's last acting role was in the 2002 miniseries Snow Queen. While she appeared in numerous movies throughout the 80s and 90s, by the early 2000s, Fonda had seemingly decided to quit Hollywood. Turns out that a series of life-changing events were what led her to make this decision. In 2003, Fonda survived a brutal car crash in Malibu. According to reports, the actress lost control of her vehicle and ended up rolling her car over an embankment. The media claimed that Bridget had only survived the crash because she had been wearing her seatbelt. But the result was that her thoracic vertebrae were fractured, and she sustained some minor cuts and bruises. At the time of the accident, the star was set to guest star on the legal drama The Practice, but her part had to be recast, and was ultimately played by Meet the Parents star Terry Polo. In March of that same year, the actress got engaged to film composer and frontman of the band Oingo Boingo, Danny Elfman. At the time, Fonda decided to retire from Hollywood to start a family. She and Elfman got married in November 2003 and welcomed a son into the world only two years later. Will Bridget Fonda ever return to Hollywood? As of today, Bridget Fonda is still married to Danny Elfman. Although the musician has made the music for iconic movies such as Men in Black, Coraline, Notorious, and Spider-Man, the former actress almost never accompanies him to red carpets or movie premieres. In fact, the last time Bridget Fonda was last seen in a premiere was back in 2009. In 2015, Fonda and Elfman purchased a $3.6 million fixer-upper home near Hancock Park, Los Angeles. This is where the former actress currently lives. Despite its closeness to Hollywood, Fonda has managed to completely cut ties with the acting industry and has even chosen to avoid social media altogether. Despite her efforts to stay out of the spotlight, Fonda was spotted by paparazzi at LAX airport earlier this year. When she was asked if she had any plans to get back into acting again, the actress said no, as reported by the Daily Mail. Pressed further, she elaborated, I don't think so. It's too nice being a civilian. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.